Good morning. Good morning. We're live. It's Pete Cohen. Let me get my notes. Let me get my notes. Let me get my notes. Here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, hang on. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I was getting too carried away uh, in just the excitement of being able to present to you guys and 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 make this a, a game changing week. Don't you think it's exciting how we have the opportunity today to do something amazing? We have the opportunity to shape our lives in different ways. We have the opportunity to, I don't know, I, I don't know, because I don't know what you're doing in your life today, that we have the opportunity to make a difference. We have the opportunity to overcome anything which has held us back in the past. We just have the opportunity. We have the opportunity. Isn't that great? Don't you think that we live in a world where we have a chance? We have a chance to do something, to be something, to make something. Uh, guys, I would really appreciate it if you guys can share this. Every time you share it, you never know. You never know whose life you could change by literally just sharing something. Literally, I think on your phone, bottom left-hand corner, you just literally click on it, share it. You don't know. I want to give a big shout out to anyone in Wales. I love Wales. Hands up if you love Wales. Um, mm. Absolutely love. Let's talk about Wales this week. What if we spent not a week looking at how to overcome obstacles? Forget that. What if we just spent a week talking about Wales? How many of you would like that? Not Wales that you find in the sea. We could spend another week talking about Wales if you want. Let's do this week on Wales, the country, and you know why why it's called Wales and why Welsh people love rugby and all this stuff. We could do that this week. Then the following week. Uh, we could talk about whales, as in the sea. Um, yeah, why don't we do that? Or why don't we talk about something? Because we could talk about this stuff and not really do much with it. Because I could tell you about whales, and you could that's interesting, but it doesn't necessarily do anything to supercharge your life, unless you want to supercharge whales, or you want to save the whale. If you feel uh, so passionate about whales and it might be a good subject but what about you in your life what is going to be the difference that makes the biggest difference in your life what is the difference that is going to make the biggest difference in your life you should write that down good morning everyone thank you for joining me five days on helping you guys deal with the obstacles that have been in your life the obstacles that are coming in your life and showing you the way through. Who is excited about the opportunity to become better, to become more, to move through from their past and to shine through and to be a better version of themselves? It might sound like a cliche. It might sound like some new age nonsense. But the reality is there is a part of you, or not even a part of you, there is a massive part of you that wants to explore and be and achieve more than you have today. Say, I'm all in. Say, I'm all in if you are all in. Show me some hearts if you're all in. If you are here, because some of you are really showing up because, I mean, why are you showing up? You could be watching the news now, right? But you're not. You're here watching this. And I've mentioned this before, and I am going to mention it again. But before I mention that, I must just say one, two things. You'll see there's a link to the Magnificent Seven here. If you haven't clicked on it, uh, click on it. It's the health strategy to really change your life. Click on it. Uh, you'll get a whole load of stuff for free. You're going to get an ebook on the Magnificent Seven. You're going to get a meditation. You're going. It's all free, 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 free. Take it, use it, share it. It's it's stuff. It's information. If people applied the Magnificent Seven in their life, they would probably overcome most health challenges that they would face in their life. It is amazing. Many of us face big health challenges in our life, so many obstacles, but we could reverse so many of them by adopting the Magnificent Seven health challenges. Health challenges? Health program. Call it what you want. It's a process. It's a formula. It's a system. There you go. A system to change your life. So this week, five days of me showing you how to overcome the obstacles that you will face in your life. Ow, I just hit my hand. But the, the thing that is imperative to understand on a Monday, because we spend five days, 
focusing on a different area. What I would like all of you to do today is to stop and think about two things. What are some of the obstacles that you have already overcome in your life? What are some of the obstacles that you have already overcome in your life? I would make a list, a list of all the obstacles. I know some people have overcome serious illness. I know some people have overcome abusive relationships. I know some people have overcome huge adversity and pain. I want you to think about it. It's important to realize where is our strength. Our strength has come in what we have been through. Why are you the person that you are today? Can you not see that part of who you are today is because of what you've been through? And guess what? You're still here. Yay! Hip, hip, hooray! You're still here. You made it. Now, maybe you've got a few battle scars. Maybe you're still in a challenging situation. See, an obstacle for me, you could call it a crisis. And some of you know this, that the Japanese sim Japanese word for crisis has two symbols. One means danger, and the other means opportunity. That your deepest and your best growth is coming through going through the obstacles. Does this make sense? If you, if you look at life with... And this is what I'm asking you to do just on one day every week. You can do it more, but just on one day every week to wake up and become more observant, to become more curious. And I want all of you to think about in your life, why are you the way that you are? What have you had to overcome to get here? Now, I don't know about you, but me, I've overcome a fair amount of adversity in my 20s, massively challenged by... Um, chronic fatigue, ME, which lasted for about 10 years. There were days I didn't want to be here. I can remember saying to my mom, mom, I want to go to sleep. I don't want to wake up. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of feeling unwell. I'm sick of just feeling horrible. But I came through and I'm here today and I'm stronger because of it. I appreciate my life because of it more. What about you? As a child, even further back, I was massively insecure. I had a growth on my body when a part of my body that you don't want things to grow. And I kept it to myself for years and years and years and years and years, seven years, eight years. So many times I made an appointment to go and see the doctor and I canceled it because I was nervous. I was, I let my duck get in the way. But you know what? Eventually I overcame it and I did something about it and I came through it. One of the biggest challenges for me, I don't even look at it as a challenge. I'm thankful that what happened to Hannah happened to Hannah. My wife was not given very long to live, but I've gone through that challenge and I'm thankful to it because I fell in love with her. We've met so many people because of it. We found a few things, one of them being what's in this cup along the way. Now, I'm not saying that's the same necessarily for everyone, but I'd say it is for 99.9% .9 of people. Obstacles have made you stronger. Does this make sense? What have we all got in common, Michelle? What have we all got in common, Jean, Sandra? What have we all been, what have we all got in common? We've all got it in common. I know some people in here who, you know, <laughs> we've all got it in common. We don't talk about it enough. We often go over and over and over and over it rather than ever moving forwards. But what I want you to do today I want you to do today, I ask you to do today, just stop and think about your life and what you've overcome. People love to talk about this. They give them an opportunity to talk about this. They love to talk about it. And you can make a huge list, but can you imagine making a list as long as that about where you're going? Because it's all about perception. And, and this week, we're going to look at post-traumatic growth as well as post-traumatic stress. The same ex similar experience can happen to two people, and that experience can either give someone post-traumatic stress or post-traumatic growth. In fact, many of us go through the stress first, and then we grow. It's time for us to grow and realize that the obstacle is the way. It is the way. And we want to learn 
how to embrace the obstacle, learn from the obstacle. Even if you take the obstacle on, you swallow it, you take the strength from that, you become stronger. Who's excited? We're a big family of people. We might not be the biggest group in the world, but you know what? Probably today, maybe 2,000 people might watch this post. And for someone, this is going to make their day. What am I asking you to, to do today? I'm asking you to become aware. I'm asking you to think about what are some of the biggest things that you've grown from. You might want to write this down. Lessons in life are repeated until they're learned. I don't know if you believe that, but I believe it. You go through the same tests, the same challenges until you finally learn. And what are you here to learn? You see, I mentioned this on the Elite broadcast at 6.30 this morning, and I'm just going to mention it again because it's important. That If I asked you, where does truth, truth reside? I mean, that's a big question to be asking at 10 past 7 on a Monday morning. Where does truth reside? reside for many people truth resides in what they've been told for many people truth resides in in books now i don't think so that's someone else's truth when someone else tells you that this is the truth it's like well who are you to tell me what the truth is alex great to see you my friend Apparently, I, I'm freezing a little bit, but I'm not freezing. I'm hot inside. Right? Where does truth reside? Truth resides in you. And as, uh, this is what my coach told me, right? He said, as long as you're alive and as long as you're breathing and you're causing problems in your life, that's the truth. But the greatest part of that truth is you have the power my friends yeah you 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 you've got the power to do something about it even though sometimes where you feel powerless you still have the power i've got the power do do that's one of my favorite songs by snap you've got the power it's just time for us to realize wake up Look at ourselves slightly differently. Realize that we are great and amazing and fantastic, even though we've spent years. And that's one of the biggest obstacles that we look at this week. What are you telling yourself? What are you saying to yourself? What are the lies that you're telling to yourself that you're not good enough? Blah, 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 blah. Let's wake up. Let's put a big smile on our face right now. Do this. Everyone do this. Go on. Do it now. Okay. Yeah. Go on. Everyone think about how many people are actually doing this now. And if someone else is watching them, how stupid they think that person might look. Come on, say, come on, come on, come on, come on, bring it on, bring it on. You want obstacles. Obstacles make you stronger. Write that down. Obstacles make you stronger. What do you need? You need strength. You need support. You need support from like-minded people. You have that. Here, my friends, use what we have created for you. Use the Magnificent Seven. Download it. Listen to it. Read it. Change your life. Let's go for it. I appreciate every single one of you showing up this morning. Where is truth? Someone might come back to me and tell me that I'm wrong, right? That, no, truth doesn't reside in you. Truth resides somewhere else. That's your opinion. This is my opinion. You don't have to listen to me. I'm not here to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. I'm here because you're here, because you've shown up, because you want something. Let's go out there. Let's make the difference. Today is the day. Awareness. Take some time. Ponder. Hmm. What have I already overcome in my life? Adversity, setbacks, but you're still here. Once we start to get a bit clearer as to where we are going, then you will eat up obstacles like they are energy bars. Um. Mm. As you get stronger. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for all your comments. We appreciate you. Actually, we need to make a quick summary. Goodbye. See you soon. Quick summary that I will put on Instagram. One day I'm going to look back at all of these summaries. Here we go. Ready? 
three, two, one. So here we are. This is day one about obstacles. What we need to know about obstacles are obstacles make us stronger. Why are you who you are? You are who you are because of what you've already been through. Your life wasn't plain sailing. I'm sure there have been challenges along the way, but you're still here. You are still here. And what is it that is going to define you moving forwards? I can tell you, I can tell you what is going to define you moving forwards is what's coming. What's coming and how you deal with it. Life is not the way it is supposed to be. Life is the way it is. And truth doesn't reside, I almost said that word and I'm not going to say, truth resides in you. You are the truth. Sounds very, I was going to say the word again, but I'm not. Truth resides in you. Truth doesn't reside in what you have been told. That's how I look at it. I might be wrong, but I don't think so. Have a great day today. Take some time to think about what you've achieved and what you've overcome. And we will see you tomorrow. Thank you for being here. It's going to be an awesome week. Much love to all. Ciao, 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 ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Goodbye.